When I was traveling around before I became the dean um, and I would meet alums, so many of them would mention professors who made a difference in their life. And that is what I think is so remarkable at the school. And John Sweeney was one of those that I kept hearing about. And so that I think proof of that, proof of what makes the school great is that our second awardee, who, by the way, I just Stacy, he did know about numbers. He, he did a joint degree with the Keenan Flagler School and School of Journalism. But he, too, asked John Sweeney to give him his award tonight. So you're back on, Madman. Right. <laughs> you know, it's pretty easy to envision the future. I do it all the time. A misty, dreamy vision that stays locked in my head. It's quite something else to envision the future, shape it, build it, bring it to the marketplace, and be proven right. Now that's talent, and that describes Jason Kyler. I knew Jason as one of my top students in an advanced class on advertising creative. A double major in business, <clears throat> I knew him as a witty writer and a fabulous artist. He created an innovative cartoon resumes about himself and caught the attention of his dream company, Walt Disney. After a few years, this incredibly creative kid decided he needed the knowledge and credentials of an up-and-coming school that is the citadel of numbers and quantification, Harvard Business. He envisioned it, he was accepted, he pulled it off. Right brain, left brain, boom. Amazing. <laughs> now with such a dream background, you of course go to the bluest of blue chip companies where success is assured. Jason decided to go to a young startup and yes, it was a startup then, named after a river of all things. Jason traded Harvard for Amazon.com, where he worked his way to senior vice president of worldwide application software for the now famous digital icon. And then, in my opinion, his greatest adventure. He dropped out for a year and traveled with wife Jamie and their kids around the world. Perhaps 19 different countries, 56 cities, with toddlers. That's courage. <laughs> when he returned, he was hired by a consortium of established TV networks to harness the new digital world. He told me about coming to the office the first day and seeing the place jammed with high-priced consultants. He had a headache by two and an empty office a day or so later. He and a tiny team put together from around the world would work together to create Hulu, the extraordinary digital network that shook up the entire concept of watching television. Jason, the charismatic CEO, became one of the most celebrated leaders in business. But Jason sees something different in the future. So he negotiated a friendly departure from Hulu and is going to start a brand new firm that captures a new future. And make no mistake, he will shape it, he will build it, he will bring it to the marketplace, and I have no doubt he'll be proven right again. I am honored and delighted to introduce as a member of the North Carolina Advertising Hall of Fame, Jason Kyler. So one thing which is, I was mentioning to Stacy, I just met Stacy Wall for the first time about 45 minutes ago, and I told him he was this godlike creature that I uh, had always heard about from John Sweeney when I was an undergrad, because Stacy was a couple of years ahead of me. So, uh, so, I've <laughs> so I got some different shoes too. So, uh, um, so uh, it is just so uh, humbling and unexpected to be included in this group from Stacy and Alan and Don and the rest of the crew that's being inducted today. Um, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, John. Thank you, Dean King. It is uh, absolutely humbling uh, and unexpected, and I, um, I'm, I'm sincerely thankful. I, uh, I've always been so fortunate in my career in that uh, most people uh, work, and they, they consider it work, and I've been so lucky and fortunate in my life to never uh, have what I consider to work. Uh, it was always, it's always been a mission, and it's, uh, it's, it's been hard, but it's always been a mission. And I attribute that to three things. Uh, one is my mom and dad, uh, first and foremost, for, for unconditionally loving me. I, that always gave me so much confidence and ability to pursue things that I loved as opposed to the things that society often expected of one person. Uh, the second thing is they were foolish enough to believe in me and in, in part of that belief that you can do anything you put your mind to uh, and work ethic to. And then the third thing was UNC uh, and John Sweeney specifically. Um, as John mentioned, I went uh, to, to two schools here, the business school and the journalism school, and I studied advertising uh, under John Sweeney. 
And the combination of those two schools really made me who I was. And, uh, and there was a lot of pressure, I remember, at that, that point in your life where, you know, most people go and do very traditional careers. And, uh, and John Sweeney was the one person who I got to uh, interact with who actually celebrated and supported these wacky and crazy thoughts that I had to, to draw comic strips of myself as a resume as opposed to going down the traditional path. And, uh, and I am so thankful for that because had that not happened, uh, um, maybe I'd be inducted into an investment banker hall of fame or something. Uh, so, uh, um, so I'm so thankful to be able to uh, be an innovator. And, uh, and John had such a huge influence on me, and I'm so thankful for him. I'm thankful for my aunt and uncle and for my mother-in-law and for my brother-in-law um, and, uh, 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 and everyone here. Thank you very, very much, and I so, so very much appreciate it.